Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is the Git timer remaining known? The Git timer remaining time by handle node is the node we will be covering in this video. There is another one, the Git timer remaining time by function name node. We will not be covering this version. This is an older deprecated version. Epic added in timer handles to any timer you create farther down the line. So we no longer need the Git by function name version. Every time you create a timer, you get a timer handle as an output. We are simply saving that as a variable called timer handle. So the Git timer remaining time by handle node basically takes your timer handle and sees how much time is left before it expires, before it um, triggers, basically. So let's go and run this, and we're going to go and do something. And what the do something does is every second it counts up. When I hit stop, it's going to pause, and it's going to give me a number. And if I hit stop again, it's going to unpause, and it's going to give me the same number. Now this number is, again, how much time is remaining before the timer basically fires. Not how much time has elapsed, but how much time has elapsed. So if I was to pause this right after it flips, we should get a large number like that. We have 8 tenths, well, 0.86 one hundredths. We have almost 90% of our timer left. And of course, the timer doesn't continue when we're pausing, so when I unpause this, we get the same value. That's how much time we have left. And actually, if I actually if I double click this, we're gonna see it go down slow. We'll see it change slightly. So we'll unpause, then pause again. You now see we have six tenths. Try it again, four tenths, two tenths, almost less than a tenth left. And if I unpause this, we're gonna see it immediately change because we had one tenth of a second left. Now if I take and I hook this up into my clear and invalidate node and then check the timer remaining, hopefully you'll know what the answer will be. We run our timer, we hit stop, we get 0, 0.0. We are asking how much time is left on an invalid timer handle, so it's going to tell us nothing is left. So keep that in mind. Invalid timers aren't going to error out. They're simply going to tell you there's no time left. That is going to wrap up our get timer remaining time by handle node.